I see that room of maps. Yeah, I see it Are those also. people acknowledging the Scrabble and Guardian Angel? That's the big question. I don't think so. I think they're forming plans that pretend that the Guardian Angels are working in harmony with each other because they're supposed to be working in harmony with each other. That's the assignment. That's how it feels. How can we help? How can we, how can we help? Remember that they're looking down into what looks like black muck. That's important. And probably they can feel that scrabbling feeling, mm -hmm. but probably between the actual guardian angels and those who might be godly presences That's accepting responsibility, presumably there's some fakey screen um, they're using the word proscenium, which might not be appropriate at all, but a fakey screen. Yeah, yeah. So that a, a screen has imprinted harmonious guardian angels, and the scrabbling feelings are being attributed to humanity. And we think that that's reasonable if you like take a big picture approach because <laughs> humanity is what has poisoned the guardian angels. That's true. But if the guardian angels are also scrabbling, how do we break that cycle of scrabbling? How do we break the cycles of corruption? That's the question. What has worked in other black holes of corruption to break the cycles of corruption? Isn't that a question I that's think in that's the bell? One of the questions literally in the bell. Oh, here it is. It's this one right here. A viewer asks, what has worked in other black holes of corruption to reopen the portal to higher vibrations above them? Oh, that's a nice one. And how did they get the process started? Oh. Whoa. Yeah, that's, that's, that's where we are. That's a really how did question. they get the process started? What has worked in other black holes of, of corruption? corruption? To reopen the portal to higher vibrations above them. And how did they get the process started? Because if we can see those people in that map room, we can see the map room. They they seem to have higher vibrations. Yes. And the guardian angels, they're just scrabbling. I don't think that they have higher vibrations. I think they're poisoned right now, unfortunately, yeah. by humanity, unfortunately. And I see that theatrical scrim that makes it hard for the presence is upstairs to see what's really going on. Thank you. Man. What is the proscenium? The proscenium is the arch in between the like upstage area and the apron. It's so like maybe the even the is. portal. That's what I start to wonder. Interesting. Yeah, right. Okay, so if we're understanding what a proscenium is, then the proscenium, i.e. portal, mm -hmm. has a scrim, i.e. one of those screens mm -hmm. with an image printed on it that suggests what's behind it is that thing. Yes. Interesting. Which is fascinating. We could understand why we would want to do that if we as a collective of guardian angels are having our internal difficulties. We would want to at least, you know, put something over us so we're not embarrassing ourselves yes but and we see this in humanity people wanting to hide from god oh and we don't think it helps them we think it hurts them really a lot yeah that's true in the long run and also in the short run they think it helps them in the short run and they think it hurts them in the long run but we would say it hurts them in the short run and hurts them in, in the, the long, long run, run also what was the question on the table? What has worked in other black holes of corruption to reopen the portal to higher vibrations above them? Well, you have to remove that scrim. Take, yeah, take it out of the proscenium. You have important. to take the scrim. So can, can anybody take that scrim away? Something just happened. I feel a different feeling. And the second part of that question was, how did they get that process started? Somebody's saying that's not the relevant question. The question is, 
from where we are right now, mm. how do we advance? That's the question. From where we are right now, how do we make progress? Well, you have to make it uncool to put those scrims uh, in the portal. That feels calm. No scrims in the proscenium. That feels calm. And they're talking about the proscenium being between the actors and the viewing audience. Yes. And if there was a scrim in the proscenium between the actors and the viewing audience, um, what would that be called? A shadow show? What do we call such a thing? I think that is a shadow show. Mm -hmm. You can't see what's actually going on mm -hmm. on the other side. Well, and unless it's backlit, it's not even a shadow show. Mm -hmm. And here what we have is viewers looking into the mock, and That's so there is no backlighting. About. That's right. I, I don't think it's a show at all. No, it's just obscured. It's not performance art. It becomes <laughs> something else. It becomes about the artist who painted the scrum. That's right. Can we go back to the first question? Yeah. The first question comes from a viewer who goes by DM, who asks, what is the difference between angelic presences and godly presences? You know, somebody really doesn't like that oh, question. They get very grumpy. No, they get very grumpy. But they're able to hear it. Peop godly presences in that room with the maps mm -hmm. were able to hear it now and they weren't able to hear it before because why wouldn't they have been grumpy before? Now it's all quiet. I think, I think something good happened when they took that scrim out of the portal. I think so also. Thank you for taking Thank the you. scrim out of the portal. We hope it lasts long enough for you guys to see the guardian angels when they're actually fighting like right now they're trying to not <laughs> hit they're just trying to i'm not going to shout i'm not going to hit they're watching right now but soon enough we'll be able to fight again so i'm not going to put down my weapons i'm not going <laughs> to even put them on the table i keep <laughs> having them in my hands so <laughs> We have, so so now somebody's stepping forward, like, so children. I hear that. We have guardian angels who are fighting amongst themselves because they have been poisoned by humanity's fighting, which is understandable that they would be poisoned. And we have godly presences who have seen a glimpse of it, and if they are actually taking responsibility, maybe they would adjust their plans to account for the fact that guardian angels are poisoned and they're fighting amongst themselves and therefore it's very hard for any of them to predict what their charges will do for the six months that they themselves require as notice making it really impossible to say what the best possible outcome is going to be. That's exciting. Wow. For whom is the message? And why do you ask? Like can you find a way to make that make that better make it more act not better make yeah, it more accurate okay. what was the question what is the difference between angelic presences and godly responsibilities that's yeah. taking responsibility yeah that's quick one more in the bell no i think we're done 